Hey you guys, this is Steel Chords, and uh, welcome to my 500 subscriber special. Well, yeah, um, as you can tell, this is a little different than what I usually do, but essentially the idea I had is that I've seen a couple of other YouTubers do something similar to this, and I figured I'd try it too. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys around my setup, kind of showing you where, like, what I live in every day. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Uh, what you're looking at right now is basically my base of operations. It's got uh, my two computers. This is my Windows computer here on the right and my Mac on the left. Essentially, the Windows computer I use for pretty much everything, uh, minus music production. Uh, basically, I use this for gaming, Skype, internet, basically anything at all. Uh, and, of course, the Mac I use for making music. As you can see right now, it's just uh, playing through my 24-hour music playlist. And right now it's playing some music from Luna Jacks. Yeah, some great stuff there. And uh, you see right here, this is the music software that I produce my music on. This is a very Stone Age version of GarageBand. This is GarageBand from 2005. And if you look very closely, this is actually a file for a song that I'm planning on releasing hopefully sometime before the end of the month, but it all depends on when, when the cover art gets done. So, yeah, uh, that's basically what it, all this is. Um, you see over here, you got my webcam. This is a, C, uh, it's a Logitech C615. This is a really good webcam. It works really well for me, and uh, I like using it. It's uh, it's really nice. Over here, I've got my microphone. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. It's a USB condenser mic, and yeah, it is very, very good, very durable microphone. It's uh, yeah, it's gotten me through many, many a good recording, at least for over a year now, actually. Let's see, I think I got this microphone, yeah, about a month after I graduated. Yeah, so it's just about a year now. Stop calling me. I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. And uh, what it's mounted onto right now is a uh, Samsung SP-01 Spider shock mount, I believe. It uh, works pretty well. It works really well with this specific microphone, too, because the way it's, uh, it mounts onto a tripod or anything like that, it, it fits really well into this, so it works really well for this specific microphone. Uh, the pop filter, although when I got it, it worked really well. Right now it's starting to... It's starting to show up, like all the pops and everything are starting to show up anyway, so I may need to replace the pop filter at some point. But uh, the stand is actually made out of a old uh, recycled lamp, desk lamp. So yeah, it just goes to show you that nothing at all, nothing at all is useless. So yeah, let's uh, let's keep going here. We've got over here on the right here, we've got my desk with my keyboard and stuff in it. And basically I put my keyboard here for like whenever I need to uh, use it to come up with melodies or chords or figure out what the vocals are going to be like, what notes and everything. And yeah, I use this for, apparently I also use it for storage, as you can see. Uh, I've got my, my Green Day Dookie album that I listen to way too often got my fluffy movie DVD and I've got my best friend here Derpy I got best pony in my house everybody yay yeah yeah but that's all that over here and then underneath here we've got my guitar amp this is a little PV practice amp it uh, works really well it's been been through a few conventions now with me it works really well and uh right down here i've got my uh my distortion pedal my yellow distortion pedal works really well it went with me out to st louis a couple weekends ago and worked really well out there and all the wires and stuff because i am a mess <laughs> over here we've got my ps2 setup 
Um, got the TV here. It's it's all right. It's a box TV because, like I said, everything in my house is Stone Age. But uh, yeah, we've got that. We've got the PS2 games down here, which are essentially all games from my childhood. We've got a couple Xbox 360 games down there, but that's just because I want to buy an Xbox at some point. I don't actually have one yet, but yeah. And uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time, I waste a lot of time playing on this thing, so yeah. So it's become a rather huge part of my life. So yeah, let's turn around here, and this is where a lot of my time, a lot of my time writing goes to. These are all my guitars. This is over here on the left. We've got my Fender, uh, Fender GC 140 SCE. It's a really good guitar. I got it just before I headed out to St. Louis a few weekends ago, and it's re I love it so much. It's really, really good. And then on the right. We've got my Squire, my white Squire Strat, Stratocaster. Works really well for, well, for what I like to do. It's, uh, it's essentially my, my electric baby, I guess you could say. And I need to replace the string on it because, yeah, it doesn't play as well without the sixth string, obviously. But yeah, and then down here we've got three others got right here this is my base that I got at a pawn shop and I guess you could call it the ghetto of Dallas it's in Ibanez GSR 200 I believe it's, uh, it works really well I had to do some adjustments on it whenever I first got it because again I got it at a pawn shop but it plays really well you know it's not half bad I like it it's pretty cool and uh, over here we've got my Yamaha FG Jr. This is the one that I essentially picked up whenever I was like, you know, I want to learn guitar. You know, I actually want to sit down and learn guitar. This is actually the one that my dad got me when I was 10 years old that I didn't actually use until I think a little over a year ago. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a late bloomer on that. And see on the right here, this is the one that I got a bit of praise from Slipstorm about about a year ago. This is a guitar that I won at Six Flags. Yes, that you heard me right. One at Six Flags. Yes. This is one of those that they have set up at one of those stands in the Midway that everybody wants, but very rarely anybody gets. And let's see here. It is a Six Flags brand, obviously. It's basically ripping off the Strat up there. Um... I actually had to use this for the recording for the file I showed you earlier because of the string breaking on the Squire. And it actually does play pretty well. I uh, adjusted the... Uh, there's a police chase outside, apparently. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, I basically used this, uh, did some adjustments on it, uh, adjusted the action a bit, lowered the action, uh, adjusted the bridge a little bit, did some uh, de-rusting over here but uh oiled it i guess but uh yeah it works pretty well i hope you guys like how it plays whenever you hear the full song when it comes out but uh yeah that's some pretty good stuff uh don't know what else to okay uh how about this i got my um this is my dad's actually this is my dad's acoustic let's see if i can open it up without the whole thing falling out um bring it down here yeah this is my dad's acoustic this is the one I took with me to Kansas City about uh, end of May I think so Yamaha F let's see F3 335 yeah Yamaha FG335 from I think when he was 18 so it's like somewhere in the 70s I think so, yeah, this is a really, really old guitar, and it is his baby. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I think that may be all I can think of. Uh, under the bed here, I've got all the guitar cases and everything. My bed is a full-size bed, because you know, I got it off of a friend of my dad's who was just trying to get rid of it. I've got my Minecraft poster over here. 
Minecraft calendar, Minecraft sword, because I'm, I don't have a problem. I swear. <laughs> got all my trophies and stuff from when I was younger. Got my collection of glass Coke bottles and one IBC bottle. <laughs> That's it. Me when I was a freshman in high school, all that stuff. Got this coin I got at Midwest Brony Fest. This is a really great convention. I can't wait to go back next year. And, uh, yeah, got all this other stuff up here. I like Legos, baseball. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. So, I figure I'll just do this for this one. I really got to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. That's, wow, that is more than I ever thought possible. I never thought I'd be able to say the... 500 people actually enjoy what I do enough to support me on it. So thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. So uh, yeah, I guess as I say in the description for a lot of my videos, remember to like, comment, stick around, let me know what you thought. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Just uh, remember to stick around, jam out. I'm Steel Cords, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.